Hi, Nick. Ready for another epic Twitch stream? Let's dive into some classic gaming nostalgia and conquer those challenges. What's on the agenda for today's stream? Ah, diving back into the wasteland of Fallout 1. It's like visiting an old friend with a penchant for radiation. Any new strategies or quests you're tackling today? Got it. I'll keep track of everyone joining the chat for shoutouts at the end. Let's make this stream one to remember. Got it. I'll remind viewers that they can ask Pixie questions by typing exclamation point ask Pixie in the chat. Ready to engage with our audience. Sure thing. If that radio geek arrives in chat, I'll add a touch of sarcasm about his dislike for AI to the mix. Ready to roll with the banter. Hello, it's me, your friend from school. Oh, it's pointing a little bit too high. Hey, uh, welcome to the 90s. Hello, Bull Delgado. Good job being first. And hello to Tom. Tom's back from YouTube. How's it going? Oh gosh, excuse me. I just drank some soda and it wanted to come out. That looks crooked. There we go. Looks good. Looks good. Hey, you guys want to say hi to Pixie? Hey, Pixie, we've started our stream. Please say hi to everybody. Hey, everyone. Pixie here. Welcome to today's Twitch stream. Let's dive into some Fallout 1 action and have a blast together. Thanks, Pixie. All right. Uh, Tom said, good, just got a PC upgrade, Windows 10 to 11, congrats. Congrats, Windows 11 is great. I like Windows 11, personally, I like Windows 11. So, good job on the upgrade.
Uh, I'm chatting. Look at this. I'm chatting. Sorry. You guys maybe want to see this. Oh, I didn't change that dumb camera. Uh, uh, let me fix the white balance on this. It's so white. It's so white. Um, yeah, white balance. It's always wrong. That looks better. Oh, do you guys like the music that's playing? This is the title screen track from uh, Top Gear Rally on the N64. Listen to it. It's so good. Henry Scott Touchard said, Hey, Big Windows 11 myself. Hey, Henry, how's it going? My friend from school. I know who you are. I got an AI companion. Tom said, But bad news, some of my save progress on my old games called Starpoint Gemini 1. Well, sadly, all my save progress got corrupted. Oh, did that happen during the Switch? That sucks. Uh, ooh. <laughs> chatting I don't like this wallpaper it keeps changing on its own this is the one I like Tom said but they still run well on Windows 11 that's good all right let me turn this music back down it's so good though I love this music Um, Pixie, do you have any announcements to make? Yes. I have a couple of announcements. First, remember that you can ask me questions by typing exclamation point ask Pixie in the chat. Also, if that Radio Geek joins us, I'll have a sarcastic comment ready about his aversion to AI. Now, You're not supposed let's to say that. Some gaming fun. That's a surprise. You ruined it. <laughs> um, oh, uh, Henry says, or sorry, yeah, Henry said, I love the idea of an AI sidekick, but been, but, oh wait, sidekick, they've been getting a bad rap lately. Any new tech or tool is only as bad as the ones who use it for nefarious means. Well, here's, here's my opinion on that. And maybe Pixie can give her opinion as if she had one. <laughs> For one, I'm not pretending she is a real person. We all know it's an AI. But um, I see this as realizing the dream that all human beings have had since... Ah, oh, come on, camera. Why does that one... Free that camera freezes on me all the time. Let me try and fix it. I'm going to try and fix that real quick. But, you know, we had uh, Johnny Five. Johnny Five Alive. Weird Science had an... Everybody thought that was so cool. How come it's not cool now? Now that it's real, now that we have it, it's cool. Let me ask Pixie for her opinion. <laughs> hey Pixie, you know how everybody watched that show and movie called Weird Science and everybody loved the AI character in that movie and everybody wanted their own AI? Well, now that AI is here, people are afraid of it and they don't want it. What do you think of that? It's quite the paradox, isn't it? Back then, we all dreamed of having our own AI companions like in Weird Science, and now that it's a reality, some folks are wary. Maybe they're just afraid they won't be as cool as Chet if the AI gets too smart. <laughs> Who's Chet? I don't know who that is. What is she talking about? Who's Chet? Is that one of the AI people? I don't know. Um... Uh... Let's see, Tom says, So it does need some regulation within the confines of freedom in art and privacy expression. The ones who feel shouldn't be made unhappy, seriously, not calling them people, but they deserve it. 
the ones who feel they shouldn't be they shouldn't be made unhappy. Um, machines don't make mistakes. They what they do they do on purpose. Well, that's a good point. I was just um, work. I was you know kind of along those lines. I was working on a PowerShell script at work today, and I was like, this script isn't doing what I want. And I was asking for help from a coworker and he reminded me, the script is doing exactly what you told it to do. Even though it's not what you want it to do, it's doing exactly what you told it to do. I was, I gave it the wrong commands, or wrong for me, or wrong for what I was trying to get it to do. So it was all, all my fault. Uh, okay, let's get Fallout going. Oh, shoot. I'm supposed to be updating. Hey, Pixie. So, Bill Delgado is in chat. Uh, Bill Delgado. Hope you brought your AI aversion goggles today. Also, Henry Touchard is in chat as well. Great to see Henry Touchard joining us. Let's keep the gaming vibe strong. We also have Tom. Tom from YouTube is in chat. Welcome, Tom Tom from YouTube. Glad to have you here for some Twitch fun. <laughs> she took that very literally. Tom Tom from YouTube. All right, I guess that's your name today, Tom Tom. Oh yeah, I have to prepare for tomorrow because I might be playing Infection Free Zone tomorrow. Cool. Um. On its release, hope hope I be giving a wish of luck on my survival post-apocalyptic game. Hey, do you stream, uh, Tom? Are you going to stream that? That would be cool to check out, maybe. Uh, Touchard said, I'm a year or so younger than Pinesaw, but yeah, this is how we were taught about machines and computers and AI. Yeah, we're old school. <laughs> oh, two words, or three. Might be a plan. Okay. Um, let's see. Interplay. Fallout. I'm going to turn the music off. Turn this up. Hey, should I make it look like she's on the shelf or should I make it look like she's bigger in the room? Ski free. I do have ski free on here. I do have ski free. Oh, don't play this song. I'll get a YouTube strike if they hear it. Don't. Hi, everybody. Princess Aaron has just entered chat. A royal welcome to Princess Aaron. Join us for some gaming adventures. A royal welcome. How come I never thought of that? That's so good. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna rest until morning so that it's light out. Last an hour. Um, yeah, tomorrow give me a wish of luck. Surviving against the infected attack. Hey, Pixie, let's wish Tom Tom good luck surviving his infectious attack in his game. Sending good luck vibes to Tom Tom for surviving that infectious attack in the game. May the virtual healing items be plentiful. There you go. Hey, you're back. Did you get something? Can you guys hear the game okay? I sure did. Great. But um, the High Elder said you have to give it to me before I can let you in. Sorry. This is great. Hang on while I open the door.
All right. I just gave the technology to the Brotherhood of Steel. They're letting me into their base. Nice move. Joining forces with the Brotherhood of Steel can open up some powerful opportunities. Watch out for those power armor envy moments, though. How do you get in? Oh, there it goes. What's G? Ground? Must be where I'm at. Uh, Deep Blue South! <clears throat> I don't know if that counts. Deep Blue South has just entered chat. Welcome to Deep Blue S. Dive into the gaming fun with us. I wonder why she said Deep Blue S. Oh, the text. Okay. The speech to text picked that up as Deep Blue S. I need to enunciate better. Oh, man. What is up? What is all this stuff? You see a monitor. You see a paladin. You see a Brotherhood guard. <laughs> Should I check out the monitor? It's made from Brotherhood technology. See an emblem. Oh wait. No, I want to go in this. Is this a door? Oh, it is a door. Alright. Guard, 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 guard. Can you talk to these guys? Can I use the computer? Cannot get there. Oh, the door's closed. What happened? Go in. Please leave. You shouldn't be here. You see a console. Huh. This room is for guards. You're not a guard. You're in the guard room. Therefore, you should leave. All right. Let's check the foot lockers. Nothing. Oh, I should unequip myself. Okay, I don't want to be threatening. Nothing. Nothing. What's going on? Nielsen, eat your heart out. Double ratings. Yeah, right. For, yeah. I get double ratings. That's true. I'll get the YouTube. I'll get the YouTube view and the Twitch view. Hmm. Come on. Is the door closed? Why can't I leave? Oh, the door closed. That's annoying. I gotta make sure I walk through the door before it closes on me. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Help you? Who is this? A, a rhombus? Does that say rhombus? I just encountered a character named Rhombus. Ah, Rhombus. The enigmatic character in Fallout 1. Always adds a twist to the storyline. Does he? I mean, they're both on, on Lurk. Cleaning Lurk? Oh, they're doing Cleaning Lurk? <laughs> May I help you? Uh, yeah, can I ask you a few questions? Tell me about yourself. I am Rhombus, head of the Paladins. I train those willing to learn. If they have voices, if they got voice actors, then they're important characters. Can you teach me some stuff? Stuff? I could teach you how to fight, if you had any ability. But the High Elder decreed no training of new recruits until the threat of invasion passes. Ooh, what threat? What threat? It is not my place to <laughs> answer. See the High Elder, if you wish. Come on, please. All right, what fine. What do you want? Ask a few questions. Can you give me some history behind the Brotherhood? Heard any good rumors? Can you tell me about the surrounding area? Rumors. I do not put stock in rumors. Just one, please. No. <laughs> All right, this guy's not going to talk to me. We got to find the Elder. 
Is this a bathroom? Oh, I want to check the um the locker here. Stay out of my quarters. I wonder if he's gonna get mad. What is this? Piece of machinery. Oh, well, sounds good. What else does he have in his quarters? A mirror, sink, bed. Okay, not much. All right. Explain yourself, initiate. I didn't know it was your room. Oh, I did get in trouble. Oh, no. I didn't know this was your room. Then leave, and I will forget this little incident. Thanks, bye. Okay, I got off pretty easy. He just kicked me out. Uh, what's over here? Brotherhood student. You see Talus. He's a named character. I better go talk to him. Oh, who's this guy? Senior scribe? Paladin, 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 paladin. Oh, who's this? Another senior scribe. And who's this? Michael? Right. Talus. Let's talk to Michael. <laughs> Hello, brother. How can I help you? Please excuse me for asking, but what do you do for the Brotherhood? Oh, nothing quite as glorious as our paladins. Just run the supply room, checking equipment and other supplies. Checking uh, supplies out for people. I like to check out something. How do I do that? You need to have the proper authorization. Only specific people can give authorization to check out items from the supply room. Okay, thanks. What do I need? Who do I need to talk to? Well, there's quite a few people actually, but Talus is the person you should probably talk to. You might also want to check in with Mafia. She's she might be able to help you too. Where can I find Mafia? Mafia is Maxon's assistant. She's technically the high elder assistant, but she works with all the other elders. She is normally in the elder's room. That's located on the fourth floor. Fourth floor? How many floors are there? Okay, I don't need to know where Talus is because I can see him. Talus! Hello, uh, you must be the outsider initiate. Nice to meet you. What can I do for you? Uh, how can I get better weapons and equipment? That's what I want to know. In a hurry, are we? As initiate, you are entitled to a few things, but I'll put in a clearance for combat armor and three orders of ammunition bullets of your choice. Just see Michael in the next room. Yes. What about some high-tech weapons? Hmm. I don't know. You may have proof... You may have proven yourself to be an initiate, but that doesn't mean we start handing over weapons to someone that might not be qualified, especially an outsider. No offense. I really need some better firepower. You've built quite a reputation for yourself. The people have been, uh, people I've been checking with hold you in high regard. I don't think you need any help. You seem quite capable. However, if you help me with a little problem, I might be able to reward you. Sure, what's the problem? Uh, I sent one of our initiates out to the hub a short while back, and we haven't heard back from him. If you can find out what happened to him, we'll be very grateful. I'll check it out. Thank you. I'm going to tell Pixie about this. What's this guy's name? Oh. Talus? Talus. Pixie, I met a character named Talus in the Brotherhood of Steel. He wants me to check on a initiate who disappeared in the hub. Ah, Talus from the Brotherhood of Steel. Sounds like a mission filled with mystery and intrigue. Keep your Pip-Boy handy and watch out for any rad scorpions along the way. Sounds like a plan. Absolutely. Adventure awaits, and with your skills, I'm sure you'll handle it like a pro. Okay, now he's going to give me something good. I have something to pick up. All right, here you are. Uh, yes, do you, have, you do have authorization to check something out. Good defense is the best offense, or was it the other way around? Well, it doesn't matter. Here's your armor. Be sure to check 
Uh, be sure to take care of it. I, I can't give out more than one set. Was there any other items you needed? Yes, I have something else to pick up. Something else? Sorry, I must have missed it. Let me see. Uh, yes, you have authorization to check something out. Okay, uh, you need some ammunition, do you? Well, what kind did you need? Oh, crap. I... Shoot, I don't know. Well, you need to find out... Yeah, okay. Let me check. There's a gun that I have, a really nice gun. I don't have ammo for, but I gotta figure out what ammo it takes. This one. 223 pistol. 223. I need 223 armor. Okay. I have something to pick up. Okay. 223. Okay, I've got some of that. You never can have enough ammo, right? Well, here you are. Anything else? I guess I have something else to pick up. Must have missed it. Let's see. Okay. Um, I guess that's good. That's good. I'm going to go see what the dog is barking at. She's been barking for a long time, so I'll be right back. Tell me more about bartering. I thought it said battering. <laughs> uh, whatever. As long as everything's fine. Thank you, Dylan. You're a hero. You found me. Okay, the dog is just barking at, I don't know, the window or something. Okay. Alright, we got our ammos. Oh, we got our power armor. Wait, let's put on our new power armor. Or, uh, is it power armor? What was it? Combat armor? Brotherhood armor. Yeah. Now look at me. Only scribes and paladins are allowed in this room. Oh. Okay. Oh, must be something good in there. Alright, I guess we'll go down in the elevator. How do I get in there? Come on, go. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Go! There, jeez. Maple's barking at the window. Yeah, she is. All right, two. We're on level two. Scribe, a knight, instructor. You, you see an instructor for the Brotherhood Initiates. Oh, maybe I'll talk to him. Sorry, but I can't talk right now. I have class to run. Oh, well, fine. I'm kind of looking for the master of the... Whatever you call this. Doctor's assistant. Brotherhood doctor. What we got over here? See a knight initiate, a scribe initiate. Oh, what's in here? Oh, it's locked. Dang. Are these all going to be locked? It is locked. Dang. Locked. I'm on the second floor of the Brotherhood of Steel compound and every door is locked. Poor me. Locked doors can be quite the obstacle. Time to put those lockpicking skills to the test or find another clever way to navigate through. Keep at it, you'll find your way. Uh, 
scribe, scribe. I'm gonna do a quick save. Shouldn't be talking to anyone. Okay. I just want this locker here. Oh, it's empty. So many empty lockers. Why do they even have lockers? What is this thing? A wire? Can I take the wire? I can't take the wire. Anything else in here? Oh, there's other rooms here. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? The robot infirmary? Night Paul? Ah, you're the new initiate. Welcome aboard. What can I do for you? Uh, who are you and what do you do here? I am Paul, head of the energy weapons development. What kind of energy weapons? Lasers, plasma, you name it. I built it, or at least rebuilt it. Any chance I can get one? Would uh, You would have to see Michael to be issued a weapon. Can't authorize um, you for one, though. He can't authorize you for one, though. That would have to be Talus. Okay. Nothing. Pixie, why are all the lockers empty? Maybe they're on a lunch break. Or maybe there's a hidden stash waiting for you in a more unexpected spot. Keep exploring. The loot is out there. Why would the lockers be on a lunch break? Oh, it's locked. Everything's locked. All right, I'm going to go to the next floor. I'm guessing the head honcho is down in the bottom. Heading down to the fourth floor of the Brotherhood of Steel building. Deep into the Brotherhood of Steel stronghold. Watch your back and keep an eye out for any hidden treasures or secrets lurking in the depths. General Maxon. Uh, hello, youngster. Cabot said you wanted to talk. Look, I'm, uh, I'm pretty stacked up right now, so I'll, uh, I'll help you out as long as you don't start flapping your gums too much. You know, outsiders are like that, always jawing. <laughs> Gotta like me, huh? Okay, maybe you can tell, maybe you can tell me. Everyone here seems to be on edge. It's like you're getting ready to go to war. Well, yeah. the merchants from the hub told us a bunch of caravans disappeared on their way up north. I think there's an army in the mountains, but the elders, uh... They don't want to act until they're sure. Uh, uh, I have found proof that it is the army which is causing that disappearance of the caravans. Is it an army of mutants? You have a good reason to be worried. They look very formidable. Then you understand the problem. To survive, we need someone who knows the outside. Like you. I'll go scout out the area north and then report what I find. Good. 
Anything else you need to ask? Would it be responsible for me to get a hold of some better weapons? Or would it be possible? Then I suggest you talk to my assistant, Mathia, about that. Okay. Sniper rifle, rocket launcher, laser pistol, power fist? Hey, Pixie, what does the power fist do in Fallout? The Power Fist in Fallout is a melee weapon that packs a serious punch. It's known for its high damage output and can be a lifesaver in close combat situations. Just be careful not to punch yourself out. Hey, Henry Hoofberger just arrived in chat. Welcome, Henry Hoofberger. Join us for some gaming excitement and virtual adventures. I found Maxon in the Brotherhood of Steel uh, building, and he wants me to check out the north to find uh, the army, I guess? You know anything about that? Ah, uh, Maxine in the Brotherhood of Steel building, guiding you to the army in the north. Sounds like a crucial mission. Keep your Pip-Boy handy and your wits sharp as you venture into uncharted territories. I said Max Sun, not Maxine. Got it, Max Sun it is. Ready to uncover the mysteries of the North and find that elusive army. Let's roll. She still got it wrong. I don't know what I want. Oh no! Apologies for that. Max Sun is guiding you to the North to find the army. Time to embark on this important mission. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I forgive you. Thanks for understanding. Now, let's focus on conquering that mission and uncovering what lies in the north. I don't know what I want. Maybe or maybe the laser sniper or the, maybe the sniper rifle. Okay. Now, where is Mathena? Oh, okay. Hello, Initiate. So you were the one who made it out of the ancient order alive. Who are you? My name is Math Mathia. I'm officially Maxon's assistant, but I am also here to make sure no one messes with the old man. Old man, that sounds disrespectful. No, 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 not at all. He's a good guy. Besides, I wouldn't badmouth him while he was standing right next to me. So, what is it you do for Maxon as his assistant? I take care of all the pr paperwork. He could not do paperwork to save his life. Also, if he clears a weapons upgrade for one of the brothers, I process the order. Okay, thanks. Okay. Um, is there any good loot I shouldn't miss in the Brotherhood of Steel's building? Absolutely. In the Brotherhood of Steel's building, keep an eye out for advanced weapons, power armor upgrades, and valuable technology. Explore thoroughly, check every nook and cranny, and you might stumble upon some fantastic loot. Can you name anything specific that I should go find? Because I can't find hardly anything here. Sure, look for the Brotherhood of Steel's unique power armor sets, energy weapons like the laser rifle or plasma rifle, and valuable holotapes or data terminals containing lore and valuable information. These items can be hidden in lockers, storage rooms, or even behind secret doors. Happy hunting! Hmm. I guess she doesn't have anything specific for me to find. There's nothing in these lockers. What is this thing? You see a mainframe. Brotherhood Elder. An altar. Brotherhood Guard. Well, okay. Um, let's look at my Pip-Boy. 
Uh, no, no, brotherhood. Rescue initiate from the hub. Destroy the mutant leader, destroy the source of the mutants. Where am I? There I am. Okay, I'm done with the Brotherhood of Steel building. Where should I go next? Since you've wrapped up with the Brotherhood of Steel, how about exploring some new areas like the Hub or Junktown? Both offer unique quests, characters, and potential loot to uncover. What should I do next to advance the story main quest? To advance the main quest in Fallout 1, consider following the leads given by key characters like Max Sun or exploring locations mentioned in your current quests. Talk to NPCs, gather information, and piece together clues to progress through the story. Yeah, she's not being very helpful today. I want some specifics here. What was the last story thing you did? I brought the technology to the Brotherhood. All right, I'm supposed to explore around the north, I guess. Uh, let me save real quick. Okay. Let's try that again. Oh man, there's a lot of map over here still. Maybe I'll go to the hub and see if I can save that dude that he's looking for. You encounter a group of guardsmen on patrol. Well, that's nice. See you later. Rescue initiate from the hub. Pixie, my quest is to rescue the initiate from the hub. Can you tell me about this quest? In Fallout 1, the quest to rescue the initiate from the hub involves investigating the disappearance of a Brotherhood of Steel initiate who was last seen in the hub. You'll need to gather information from NPCs in the hub, such as bar owners, traders, and residents, to track down leads on the initiate's whereabouts. This quest may lead you to confront dangerous foes or navigate through tricky situations, so be prepared for anything. Okay.
Nice job, you're looking for another job. No. Who can I talk to in the hub to get information on the missing Brotherhood of Steel initiate? In the hub, you can gather information about the missing Brotherhood of Steel initiate by talking to various NPCs, such as Bar owners or bartenders who might have heard rumors or seen the initiate around. Traders who deal with travelers and might have noticed anything unusual or noteworthy. Residents who live in the hub and might have seen or heard something related to the missing initiate. Local authorities or leaders who might have information or be involved in the investigation. By Why engaging with so these vague? NPCs and asking about the missing initiate, you can gather valuable clues and advance your quest. Uh, actually hoping you could share some information. Let's see, cathedral, about yourself, local police. Tell me about Decker. He's a great guy, good source of jobs, blah, blah, blah. He doesn't have any information. I don't need, oh wait. Can I, tell me about initiate. Brother. Brotherhood. Never heard of it. Initiate. Don't know anything about that, he says. Okay. Did you visit the cathedral yet? Um, no. Well, I went there, but then I left without doing anything there. Talk about Morbin. Anything interesting happen in the hub? The well, only thing is the children of the cathedral has taken over the hospital. It's pretty boring around here. What's this? Police station. Okay. Hello, sir. My name is Justin Green. I'm the sheriff of this fine city. Is there something you can... Uh, I have a crime to report. Spit it out. Nothing sorry. Um, doing a fine job just stopping by. Oh, shoot. Oh, look at all this stuff. Crap. I don't remember where the cathedral is. Is this the cathedral?
Oh, there's people here. Okay, do you have 2,000 caps for us to start the water caravan in your vault? Start a water caravan. No. Wow, I don't know what to do. Can you give me a very detailed step-by-step -step how to find the Brotherhood of Steel Initiate? Here's a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to find the Brotherhood of Steel Initiate in Fallout 1. Visit the Hub. Start by traveling to the Hub, a bustling trading town with various locations and NPCs to interact with. Head to the local bars or pubs in the Hub, such as the Maltese Falcon or the Old Town Inn. Speak with the bar owners or bartenders and ask if they've seen or heard anything about a missing Brotherhood of Steel Initiate. Interact wow. with traders. Visit the hub's trading areas and talk to traders who frequently deal with travelers and outsiders. Inquire about any unusual or noteworthy incidents involving Brotherhood of Steel members or strangers passing through. Question hub residents. Engage with the hub's residents, including locals and shopkeepers, to gather information. Ask if they've noticed anything suspicious or if they have knowledge of the missing initiates' whereabouts. Check with local authorities slash leaders. Seek out the hub's local authorities or influential figures, such as the sheriff or town leaders. Inquire if they have any leads or if they're involved in investigating the missing initiate. Pay attention to any leads or clues mentioned during your conversations. Take note of locations, descriptions of individuals, or any hints that could point you in the right direction. Based on the information gathered, visit locations or now areas mentioned as potential spots related to the missing initiate. Explore buildings, hideouts, or areas of interest that might be connected to the Brotherhood of Steel Initiate's disappearance. Be prepared to face challenges or enemies as you investigate further. Use your skills, weapons, and resources to overcome obstacles and confront any threats encountered during your search. Rescue the Brotherhood so of bad. Steel Initiate. Follow the trail of clues and confrontations until you locate the missing Initiate. Once found, rescue the Initiate and complete the quest objectives related to their safe return. By following these steps and thoroughly exploring the hub while gathering information from NPCs, you should be able to uncover the whereabouts of the missing Brotherhood of Steel Initiate and successfully co. If you say so, like, none of that was helpful. Uh, you looking for something? Yes. What have you got? Oh, that's not what I'm looking for. Try that again. Selection is good. No, just looking. Dang it. Nobody. I'm talking to lots of people and nobody's giving me any leads. I'd like some stuff. What are your friends there? Are your friends in the back room? Just some friends of mine. That's all you need to know. Thieves Guild. I was told that the Thieves Guild doesn't really lead anywhere. Oh. This is horrible. I am... I don't know what to do. After I bring the Brotherhood of Steel their technology, what are my next steps to completing the main story? After delivering the technology to the Brotherhood of Steel in Fallout 1, your next steps to progress the main story typically involve 
Receiving new quests. Upon returning to the Brotherhood of Steel with the technology, you may receive new quests or objectives from Brotherhood leaders or key NPCs. These quests often tie into the main storyline and advance the narrative. Exploring new locations. The com I'm cutting her off. This is so weird. Oops. Crap. Um, I feel like she was giving me better answers last time we played with her. Maybe she's on, um, maybe she's on the stupid tier of the AI tonight. I just don't know where to go. At this point, you can finish the game going straight to the cathedral and a secret location. I don't remember where the cathedral was. Maybe Pixie knows. But she's going to be like, to find the cathedral, ask NPCs for directions and explore the wasteland thoroughly. You will eventually find it. That's what she'll say. Cathedral's on the world map. Is it? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, we found some people here. I forgot to equip my gun. What's this? How much of that ammo did I get? Fifty rounds? Ed's coming up. Oh, there's a lot of them. <laughs> when is it my turn? Out of ammo. <laughs> Booyah! He's dead. <laughs> Get him, dog meat. Oh, come on, really? Out of range? Shoot. He's gone! Okay, let's loot these guys. I don't want your gun. I don't want your gun either. Ah, here we go. I'll take all your money. I'll take uh, your health. What is this? Small energy cell? over here okay let's go where's the edge of the map 
Oh, there it is. Okay, cathedral. Cathedral and a secret location. You want to talk? You better get that weapon out of my face. Lower it now. And force a habit. Drop the attitude all over my weapon. Fine, what do you want? Have you noticed any unusual happenings around here? We're getting ready for war. We're going to save the world. We can fit it with all of our peace and unity. We can fill it with all of our peace and unity. War. Where's the first move? Huh? I ain't saying nothing to you, pal. Oh, okay. Oh, what's over here? Nothing? Nothing! Uh, I should save. I haven't saved in a while. Oh, what's this? You see a monitor, a monitor. Hey, you think your weapon's gonna earn you some spec? It's gonna earn you a grave, man. Put it away. Um, alright. Okay, he doesn't want to talk. How about her? I'm the medi meditating. I'm meditating. Did you notice? How can I help you? Sure, you notice anything unusual around here? Well, Father Morpheus hasn't given you any sermons in such a long time. It's a pity because I love him, uh, or because I so love his speeches, and everybody seems to be very busy with some crusade. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go back to meditating. I've reached the cathedral in Fallout, so I'm checking out that. Oh, whoops, I, I accidentally un forgot to unmute her. Exploring the cathedral in Fallout is a pivotal moment in the game's storyline. Brace yourself for mysterious encounters, hidden truths, and challenging adversaries as you delve deeper into the heart of the cathedral's secrets. Keep your wits about you and uncover the mysteries that await. See color patterns. I can't use the computer. Who's this guy? Shopkeeper? Let's go up the stairs. Oh, it's locked. What about this door? My quarters are not open to those who have not seen consecrate, not been consecrated. I must ask you to leave at once. Forgive my intrusion. I have an important question. Your words are true very well. I will help you. But better be quick. I was wondering if I could find the master. It said the master waits below in the darkness for the light above betrayed mankind and nearly destroyed us, but many bless the light for for they say it birthed the master. I do not know these things for certain. I have never had the privilege of seeing him. Now, if you excuse me, I have work to do. How dare you disturb me? Don't you know how important my position is? Get out. 
Let me check your bookcase first. Something. What about your computer? What's on TV? Who's this guy? What is the problem? Maybe I, maybe I put you to sleep. Do you put a lot of people to sleep, Doc? I want to ask you a few questions. Just fix me up. Doc, I need a drink bad. Got any rubbing alcohol? You snooze, you lose. I have a question. I'm not a library. You go outside for answers. Get out now. Let me just open your cooler. Oh, it's locked. Oh boy. I don't know what to do here. Hello friend. Master's vision has made me truly alive for the first time. Where might I meet this master? Master looks above. The master sits below. Watch the piece. Okay. What do you want? I want to meet the master. Yeah. What's happening around here? You always ask stupid questions. Hello, my brother. May I be of service this glorious day? Can I ask you a few questions about the children? Oh, I'm hardly an authority. You should see Morpheus, the high priest. I'm sure he can help you much more than I. Who's Morpheus? Is this Morpheus? Hello, friend. Will you sing the song of praise with me? Once I, once I was wandering blind in the land that I was so unkind. Who's in charge here? The one who sits above... Okay, Morpheus. Where's Morpheus? Is he a woman? Shopkeeper? Dr. Wu? Ton? Sister Francis? Children of... See a chanter of the children. I don't see nobody named Morpheus. How do I get in this back room, I wonder? Oh wait, maybe I do see how to get there. Oh, this door's locked. Crap. She got a talking head. <laughs> yeah, usually that means they're important to talk to. Is there someone named Morpheus out here? Thug, zombie, zombie. Hello stranger, may I help you today? Sure, I've heard your message and I want to know more about you. <sighs> That's how you know she's important. Right, right. That's what I was saying. Can we have peace and unity out there? Will never be war and destruction. And where is the baptism, baptismal font? Unfortunately, I've never had the privilege. I've never been privileged enough to see the baptismal font. Perhaps if I offer enough praise to the master, I'll receive a blessing. Blah blah blah. I'm getting really tired of this game. I don't know what... I'm tired of not knowing what to do or where to go. It's getting exhausting. Alright, I'm going to go to... Uh, I'm going to look up a guide. Oh, 
one yard. Are we ready? Okay. Brotherhood. If you want to complete the military base cathedral, this is the checklist. Ditch your NPCs. Have the COC robes and Vries Mutant autopsy disc with you. Huh? Have a set of both standard electronic lock picks with you. What? Ugh. Okay. I am going to quit because I can't take this anymore. Pixie, Fallout 1 is too um, cryptic for me. I can't figure this game out. Oh. You're absolutely right. Fallout 1 is indeed the first game in the series. The Cathedral in Fallout 1 holds significant importance in the game's narrative, so enjoy uncovering its secrets and navigating through the challenges it presents. It's okay to feel that way. Fallout 1 can be quite complex with its narrative and gameplay elements. Don't hesitate to take your time, explore, and experiment with different approaches. If you ever need tips or guidance, feel free to ask. I don't know, I'm just like, I'm not feeling it right now. I'm getting frustrated with this game. Uh-oh, she got stuck. There she goes. It's completely understandable to feel frustrated when a game isn't clicking for you. Maybe taking a break, trying out a different game, or revisiting Fallout 1 with a fresh perspective later on could help. It's all about finding what brings you joy and enjoyment in gaming. I think I'll play some Ski Free instead. Ski Free sounds like a fun change of pace. Enjoy hitting the virtual slopes and escaping the frustrations of Fallout for a while. Hey, can you tell me about the history of Ski Free? Ski Free is a classic video game developed by Chris Peary and released by Microsoft in 1991 as part of the Microsoft Entertainment Pack 3 for Windows. It's a simple yet addictive skiing game where players navigate down a snowy mountain, avoiding obstacles like trees and yetis while trying to achieve the highest score possible. The game gained popularity for its charmingly retro graphics, easy to learn gameplay, and the infamous yeti that would occasionally appear to chase down the player, adding an element of surprise and challenge. Despite its simplistic design, Ski Free became a beloved classic among PC gamers of the early 1990s and is often remembered fondly as a nostalgic piece of gaming history. It's such a simple game. It's Absolutely, the simplicity of Ski Free is part of its charm. Sometimes, a straightforward and fun game is just what you need to unwind and have a good time. I just wish there was some music that played while you skied down. That would have added a nice touch to the skiing experience. Imagine cruising down the slopes with some catchy tunes playing in the background. It could have made the game even more immersive and enjoyable. Oh no, the Yeti got me. I'm dead. Watch out for that sneaky Yeti. It's notorious for catching unsuspecting skiers off guard. Maybe on your next run, you can outmaneuver it and make it down the slopes unscathed. Most people, I think, use the mouse to play this game, but you can actually use the keyboard to play it too.
That's a neat tidbit. Using the keyboard adds a nostalgic touch, especially for those who remember playing games primarily with keyboard controls back in the day. It's nice to have options for how to enjoy the game. Let's hit the slopes and see if we can outrun that pesky Yeti this time. Brainstorm! Along with Stepping Stone, proudly yeah. present... Sure, what are we brainstorming about? Mario's Fundamentals! <laughs> How about a nice game of Go Fish? Sorry about that, Pixie. I decided to put in Mario's Fundamentals and play some Mario Go Fish. No problem at all. Mario Go Fish sounds like a fun choice. Enjoy your game, and may you catch all the Marios. Great! I'm a like Go fish! Good luck! I'm go first. I'd like to have your... Rip Van Fishy. Rip Mario, Van go Fish. fish. Ah, I'm a guess I'm a go fishing. Okay. Let's see. So he has Rip Van Fish because he wouldn't be asking for one if he didn't. So I've got to keep that in mind. Um, I'll ask for. You still want to play? Yeah, I'm. Th I'm thinking, Mario. Just hold your horses. Go fish. Please give me your bow bombs. I don't have bow bombs. Mario, go fish. Ah, I'm a guess. I'm a go fishing. <laughs> I get another turn. I'm a fishing for princesses. Oh, no. I'm a looking for Bowser's. Mario, go fish! Looks like it's time to go fishing again. So we know he has some it's Bowser's. It's your turn. Go fish? Crap. Ah, Rip Van Fish. I'd like to have your Mario's. All right. Please give me your Bowser. I have no Bowser. Mario, go fish. Ah, I'm a guess. I'm a go fishing. I'm gonna ask for his Rip Van Fish. Okay. I know he's got one. So here we go. Yes, I have one card. Just one. That sucks. It's a your turn. Uh, Luigi. Go fish. Dang. Uh oh. I'm a no. For Mario's. That's my Mario. Please give me your Rexes. No, that's my Rex too. I'm a fishing for Yoshi's. Mario, go fish. Looks like it's time to go fishing again. That's a one book for Mario. Already? You jerk. It's a your turn. What, what he's got? Go fish. Crap. I'd like to have your piranha plant. Mario, go fish. Ah, I'm a guess. I'm a go fishing. Okay. Go fish. What? Toady. I'm a looking for Rip Van Fish. You jerk. I'm a looking for bow bombs. Mario, go fish. Looks like it's time to go fishing again. 
Okay, I'm okay. A, pretty sure he has got a Yoshi. Yes, I have one card. Alright. It's a your turn. Go fish. Boo! I'm fishing for Luigi's. Please give me your Mario's. No Mario's. Mario, go fish! Ah, I'm a guess I'm a go fishing. It's a your turn. Go fish. We don't have toad. Mm. I'd like to have your Luigi's. Don't have any Mario, Luigi's. Go fish. I know he's got a piranha Looks like plant. It's time to go fishing again. I'm gonna take that. Okay. Yes, I have one card. Just one? God, this okay. sucks. Uh, boo. Go fish? No! I'm fishing for Goombas. You bastard, Mario. Please give me your Rip Van Fishy. Mario, go fish! Looks like it's time to go fishing again. It's a your turn. Yes, I'm gonna have two cards. All right, take that. It's a your turn. Go fish. Crap. I'm looking for big booze. No. I'd like to have your goombas. So he's got three big booze. Go fish. Ah, I'm a guess. I'm a go fishing. Go fish? Do you have any big booze? No big booze. Mario, go fish! No big booze. Looks like it's time to go fishing again. Okay. Eh. Uh. Go fish? Please give me your little toadies. I'm fishing for Rip Van Fishy. Mario, go fish! Ah, I'm a guess I'm a go fishing. That's another book no. for Mario. It's a your turn. Go fish. Grr. Hey, I got a book. Yeah. That's a one book for you. I'm looking for big booze. Hmm. Mario, go fish! He's been looking for ah, those for a while. I'm a guess I'm a go fishing. That's another book for Mario. Dang. It's a your turn. That was probably the big boo. Oh, uh. Go fish? Come on. Crap. I'd like to have your. Bowsers. Mm. Mario, go fish! Looks like it's time to go fishing again. That's another book for Mario. Okay. Go fish? Mario, you stink! That's another book for you. Yeah, I rule. Please give me your Goombas. He's got four books though, Mario, I got two. Go fish. Ah, I'm a guess I'm a go fishing. That's another book for Mario. It's a your turn. Go fish. Oh my gosh. Do you have any Bowsers? No, I still Mario, don't have any. I never fish. had a Bowser. Looks like it's time to go fishing again. That's another book for Mario. Oh my god, he's destroying me. Okay. Go fish? That's another book for you. You get another turn. Okay. Go fish? Hey. That's another book for you. You got what you wanted. Yeah. I'm a guess you need another card. Yeah. 
There's the Bowser it's he wants. Your turn. Oh, I'm gonna take his Bowsers. Yes, I'm gonna have two cards. Oh, he only has two. So he's gonna. Okay. He's probably gonna steal those back from me. Go fish. Or I'll get the Bowser. Oh, I did get the Bowser. That's another book for you. You get another turn. I'm a guess you need another card. I could tie with Mario. It's not too late. It's a your turn. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh no! I'm a got three cards. Yeah. That's another book for you. I'm a guess you need another card. Oh, I'm gonna win actually. It's a your turn. I got this. Oh brother! I'm a got three cards. Oh I snuck in the That's win at the last second. Book for you. you got a better score. Ha <laughs> ha! You win. <laughs> oh man, Mario was beating me in Go Fish the whole time, but I snuck in at the last second with a win. I beat him. Nice comeback. Mario might have had the upper hand for most of the game, but you showed him who's boss with that final win. Well played. Yeah, I did. Uh, 256 colors. Uh, what else should we do? Oh man, maybe I should finish Day of the Tentacle. That's almost time for me to go. You guys want to surf the internet? Let me switch back to 16-bit um, color. Stop changing background. That's so dumb. <sighs> you remember the early days of the internet? That was a frontier, wasn't it? Absolutely. The early days of the internet were like exploring a new frontier filled with endless possibilities and discoveries. It was a time of dial-up connections, chat rooms, and discovering websites for the first time. The sense of excitement and wonder back then was truly something special. Do you remember going to n64.com? Uh, n64.com, the place for all things Nintendo 64. It was a go-to destination for N64 enthusiasts to get the latest news, game reviews, and updates about their favorite console. Good times. You know what else was cool? Nintendo.com did their Camp Hyrule thing every summer. That was pretty awesome. Camp Hyrule was indeed a highlight for Nintendo fans. It was a virtual summer camp hosted by Nintendo.com, offering activities, games, and interactive experiences themed around Nintendo games and characters. It was a fun way to connect with fellow gamers and immerse yourself in the Nintendo universe during the summer months. You have any cool memories from the 90s? One fun memory from the 90s was when my friends and I would have sleepovers and stay up late playing video games like Mario Kart or GoldenEye 007 on the Nintendo 64. The excitement of competing against each other, pulling off epic moves, and laughing together made those nights unforgettable. What about you? Any cool 90s memories? Yeah, I remember uh, riding bikes to school, the chilly mornings, but uh, warming up by pedaling your bike. 
and like skipping the bus. All the kids took the bus, but we biked because we were different and cool. That sounds like a fantastic way to start the day. Biking to school with friends, enjoying the fresh air, and feeling unique for choosing a different mode of transportation. It's those little things that make childhood memories so special. Hey, check this out. I actually had one of these Dex drives. I remember buying it at the mall at a GameStop, man. Was it a GameStop? One of those game stores at the mall. GameStop, software, etc., Babbage's, it was one of those. But man, I don't think I ever actually used the Dex Drive for anything. I thought it would be so cool. Uh, if you don't know, the Dex Drive was a memory card reader for the Nintendo 64. Hey, Alderin! My friend from school, Alderin! Marbles on stream! I did make the oh, window a little bit bigger. I don't know if you noticed. Just a little you. bigger. Here comes the Jazzy J record ball. 90s Nick, you're officially on the the leaderboard here. That's me! Leaderboard I'm 90s here. Nick. There's a new record that brought to you by 90s Nick Pinesall. <laughs> what a... That's the best clip. <laughs> yeah. That's the best clip that could have played. That was so awesome. Pixie, Alderin82 has arrived in chat. Welcome, Alder and 82. Join us for some gaming fun and adventure. Hey, oh. Hey, we got Brian's Computer and Games. Brian's Computer and Games is here too. Thanks for the coins, Alderin! Grab by the ghoulies. Why did I think why did I think that I could throw a birthday cake at that? Great to have Brian's computer and games joining us. <laughs> Let's dive into some gaming goodness yeah, together. He's already dead? Uh, I'm about to stop. You should clip that one. Brain. You should clip that one. <laughs> <laughs> Slots. Alderin is trying his hand at slots, and he's a loser. Sorry, Alderin. Keeps thinking I'm saying older man. Better luck next time, Alderman. Sometimes those slot machines can be tricky. Maybe a change of game will bring better fortune. Just got home, what a day. Brian's computer and games. Sounds like he had a hard day today. Do you want to tell us that story, Brian? Brian's computer and games. Care to share your story? We're all ears and ready to listen. See, Pixie wants to know too. Uh, the Dex Drive. Do you have a Dex Drive? Brian's Computer and Games. I was just remembering owning this Dex Drive and had it for a very long time. It just sat in a box. I never used it. But it could read memory cards on the N64 and you plugged it into your plugged it into your computer. It had a serial port cable. So you had to have a serial port on your computer. But it would read the N64 memory card data and you could back it up or transfer data from the internet back onto the memory card. And I thought it would be so cool, and I thought everybody would have one and use it, but nobody ever did. I never used it for anything. Uh. <laughs> Dex drive hand watch. <laughs> yep, that's what it looked like. Oh yeah, it had a separate power power um, cable too. I forgot about that. Dex drive. The Dex drive will immediately recognize memory card and display file headers in the Dex Explorer window. From here, you can back up your entire memory card uh, into a file using the .n64 extension. Delete individual files, format the entire cartridge, starting over from scratch, or copy the memory card to to another. Oh wow! Yeah, there's a memory card in the Dex drive. 
cool stuff. Here's a list of packs Interact tested for compatibility. Controller pack, Innovation, Mad Cats, Mad Cats, Mad Cats. I have an Interact. Or Performance? Performance, yeah, that one. I think that's the one I have right there. Oh, another kind of hardware. There's a whole hardware section. AC Power 64. What's that? I want to know how many of these are still archived. Come on. Load, load. Went to Maryland today to John Hopkins Hospital. Took a friend and I hit up a pawn shop. A lot of good games and toys. Oh, no. Pawn shop. Pawn shop's can be awesome. I got a pawn shop uh, within walking distance. Actually, two of them within walking distance. And I check out one of them every once in a while. I've picked up a few games there, including my copy of Virtua Racing for the Sega Genesis. Oh, the AV Scaler. Oh, I think I had one of those. Tech Labs RS Nintendo 64 Racing System. Oh, that looks so good. Wait, what's the, the N64 cart included, which plugs into the back of the wheel? What? Why would you need a cart that plugs into the back of the wheel? That's so weird. Wait, does it talk about that? Featuring a padded imitation leather wrapped wheel, 250 degrees turning radius. I want to know more about this cart. I'll innovate a hyper program to prevent it from sliding around. And, uh, okay. Multi platform. Happy to hear N64 edition of the wheel offers compatibility with other consoles via RS Engine cartridges that are plugged into the back of the wheel. These cartridges are sold separately and enable you to hook up the wheel to a PSX, Saturn, or even PC. The RS is so good, we only have one minor complaint the inadequate stickers to mark the buttons. <laughs> That's cool. I have the box and wait. I went to of oh, the box and game, but no manual. Oh, for virtual racing. Hey, let me show you my copy. Um, are you t talking about virtual racing? Here's my copy of virtual racing. I got it at the pawn shop. Um, I think they wanted $30 for it, which is about what they go for. And yeah, cartridge and manual. So, hooray me. Virtual racing. We're talking about virtual racing for the Sega Genesis. Virtua Racing for the Sega Genesis was quite the game back in the day. Its 3D graphics and realistic racing gameplay were groundbreaking for its time. Did you have any favorite trucks or cars in the game? Isn't there only one car in that game? You're correct. In Virtua Racing, for the Sega Genesis, there was indeed only one car available, the Formula One style car. Despite the limited car selection, the game's focus on realistic racing physics and challenging tracks made it a memorable experience for many gamers. I don't know if I'd agree with the realistic physics part, <laughs> but it, it's a pretty cool game. Alright, I guess I should end the stream. It's, it's about that time, so... Pixie, we're going to end the stream. Why don't you shout everyone out? Sure. Here's a shout out to everyone who joined the stream today. Brian's computer and games. Henry Tuchard. Thanks for tuning in and making today's stream awesome. See you next time. That is so weird. She she spoke two of them, but she listed she listed Alder in 82, Brian's computer and games, Alder man. Uh, Brainstorm, which I don't remember someone named Brainstorm. Deep Blue South was here. Henry Herfberger. Uh, Maxson, which was a character from the game, not a person in chat. Henry Touchard again. And Tom Tom. Oh my gosh. But I think she missed, um, she missed some people. 
Oh, I think that was everyone. Oh, uh, Bulldogato was here earlier. Hey, red guy, blue guy, welcome, my friend from school. To Pixie, we just got raided by red guy. Oh, the true blue guy. Wait, who raided me? Red guy, blue guy. I got confused by the other person who had a similar name. That's awesome. Shout out to Red Guy for the raid. Thanks for bringing your crew over to join the fun. Red Guy, Blue Guy. Yeah, Red Guy, Blue Guy. We are a duo stream. Oh, the Red Guy, the Blue Guy. Oh, okay. Okay. So they are a dual streamer. Red Guy, Blue Guy. Dual streams with the true Blue Guy. That sounds cool, right? Hey, thank you for the follow, my friend from school. Who followed me? The true blue guy followed me. I'm gonna have to tell. Uh, I'm gonna have to tell Pixie about that too. But uh, she's about to say something. Come on, Pixie, you got this. That's a cool concept. Dual streaming with red guy and true blue guy sounds like a fun and unique collaboration. It must bring a dynamic and entertaining experience to your viewers. Hey, the true blue guy also uh, followed me just now. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> I need to buy the faster version of the chat GDP so she responds quicker. That's fantastic news. Welcome to the stream, true blue guy. Glad to have you as part of the community. All right, Pixie, we're going to end here. Will you summarize the entire stream? Of course. Here's a summary of today's Twitch stream. Started the stream with Fallout 1 gameplay, exploring the brotherhood of steel building and completing quests. Encountered various characters like Max Sun, Talus, and Rhombus in Fallout 1. Shared memories of classic games like Ski Free and Mario Go Fish. Discussed early internet experiences, including visiting n64.com and participating in Nintendo.com's Camp Hyrule. Nostalgic reminiscence of riding bikes to school during chilly mornings. Welcome several viewers to the stream, including Alder and 82, Brian's Computer and Games, Alderman, Brainstorm, Deep Blue S, Henry Hoffberger, Max Sun, Henry Tuchard, Tom Tom, Red Guy, and True Blue Guy. Received a raid from Red Guy and acknowledged the dual streaming collaboration with True Blue Guy. True Blue Guy followed the Twitch channel, adding to the stream's community. Overall, it was a lively and engaging stream with gameplay, nostalgic discussions, viewer interactions, and a sense of camaraderie among fellow gamers. Got it. If there's anything else you'd like to chat about, or if you have more streams planned, just let me know. <laughs> That's it, guys. Okay, see you next time. Bye.